everyone welcome back to my tutorial for today thank you for being here thank you for all the likes and comments thank you for all the love you've shown me thank you so much i have here two yards of ankara fabric okay please if you are yet to subscribe why not hit that red icon to subscribe and also touch the notification bell so that once i upload you can be notified of any of my new videos okay so today we are going to be making this shirt gown and i'm trying to use just these two yards of ankara fabric to get it done quickly i will cut out the lower part and see what is left of the upper part for the lower part my length is 24 inches so i will cut out 24 inches plus few inches for food and for seam allowance all right so i've cut it out this is the lower part remember i'm working with two inches so an address has side pocket so i'll just split this side open so that we have front one inch one yard back one yard okay so we now have it front and back for the back i'll still split it open for where the zip is going to be okay So for the bodies, I'll be cutting put the front and the back at the same time, okay? Earlier, I said I was going to put zip at the back, but I've changed my mind. I'm going to be putting the zip at the side, okay? Since our fabric has button at the front, I'll be putting the zip at the side, okay? So I folded my fabric already into two, as you can see. I'll fold again leaving about two inches here for my zip for my button sorry okay all right okay my half length is 17 inches i have here 18 inches which is just perfect so this is going to be the front. The one on fold is going to be the back. I hope we get that. So I'll place my shoulder measurement. Shoulder is 17 inches. That is 8.5. 3 inches for shoulder slope. And on my shoulder, 1 inch also for shoulder slope okay my armhole is eight and a half inches okay next is my bust which is 42 into four is ten and a half ten and a half i have here two inches extra for seam allowance waist is 38 into four is nine and a half it is here and I have here two and a half inches which is okay now for the back I'm going to be leaving the neck straight because we are going to be putting color and then for the front four inches neck width is three inches okay I hope you get that. I'm only putting neck depth at the front. I'm not putting at the back. We're going to be leaving the back neck straight like this. Okay. All right. So I'll cut. So this is the back 
And this is the font. All right. Okay, and this is for the water. So I'm folding this way. First, I'm going to use my iron to fold it in so that it will be easier for me. I'll fold this way. Okay, one is for the button, the other one for the button hole. This also is for the sleeve. It's just the basic sleeve, okay? There is no mathematics to it. Now our fabric is finished. If you need rope, just as we are, we are seeing in that uh, picture, obviously you know that if you are as big as I am, two yards may not be enough for you, except you don't want rope. If you don't want rope, it is already enough but if you need rope maybe you will need to add a few inches to your two yards that will be for the rope so i will add few inches okay that will be for the rope alone aside that our fabric is complete so i will go ahead and cut out the lining for it okay so i've done the lining that is if you want to line your own fabric before sewing okay but the sleeve the lower part and the bodies okay now here i clearly lined out my the place i'm to put my button okay the two of them i hope you see it so i will just go to the machine and sew it here if you want to add more beauty to it you can still sew it here as well okay but if you sew once and feel like one is okay for you it is perfect so when i do that i will join them at the shoulder first of all i mean the front and the back i'll join them at the shoulder okay so i've joined them at the shoulder i hope you see it the next thing i will do will be to attach the lower part okay i'll attach the lower part to the upper part so i'll make my gathers or pleats it depends on what you want and attach here i'll also attach the other one to the front okay this way leaving it like this okay leaving it this way I will close here so that this place is no longer separate. I hope you get me. I will join here just this lower place together to enable me attach the lower uh, the lower fabric to this place. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I've joined this lower part, like I said. Okay. The next thing before I attach the lower part, sorry is to put my dart. Already I've put that at the back. I hope you see it. So for the front you fold into two. Measure your nipple to nipple measurement. Mine is four and then half an inch for the dart. Okay. So I'm going to hold it this way and so using half an inch on each side, on this side and then on the other side. When I do that, I will then attach the lower part to this bodice. Okay, now having attached the lower part, I hope you see that, the next thing will be to join them at the two sides using the bust and the waist measurement only since we are not working with any hip measurements here 
Alright, so I'm placing my bust measurement. And then my waist measurement. Okay. So now on the on the left hand side I'll be attaching zip here. Okay. So on the right hand side I'll close from here to my waist and then three inches below my waistline I'll leave it open for three or two and a half inches or even two and then I'll continue after about seven inches I'll continue I hope you understood what I said here I'll close from here to this point I'll stop leaving about seven inches open this is for our pocket and then I'll continue from here down to the lower part and then for this other side for the left hand side where i said i'll be putting zip i'll close about one inch below the armhole area i'll sew this way leave here open i will leave from here open to about this is a My sewing, assuming I'm not putting zip, my sewing is supposed to start from here all through to this place. Then I'll leave 7 inches for pocket and then continue down. Okay. But since I'm putting zip here, I will close from here. I will not, I will close from here to this place. I will leave this place open till about 1 inch here. And then I'll close here also. And then continue down here i hope it's clear enough so here is open between here and here is open between here and here is open this is for our zip this is for our pocket the zip since we don't have any zip at the back to enable us you know to enable me wear the clothes easily i hope you understood what i said between here and here is open for zip between here and here is open for pocket then i'll close the lower Part. all right now having done that the next thing will be to affix my zipper between here and here where we made provision for it okay so i will attach the zipper between here and here okay now as you can see i've done the attachment i hope you see it okay the next thing will be to attach the sleeve before we now come to the collar so i'll go to the machine also since i already cut my sleeve and lined it i will just sew according to the circumference of my arm and attach okay so next will be to now cut out our collar and attach it i'll be cutting my collar together with the collar stand okay Already I have the pattern cut out, but I'll need to show you how I did it, okay? Now my fabric is on fold. The measurement of that next circumference I have on my dress is 19 inches. So I have here 20 inches, I hope you see, 20 inches, okay? Now at this lower part, at this fold, okay we have to assume that this is the lower part of course it is the neckline this is the color this is the color stand okay so now the color stand comes before the color okay so at the color stand you remove half an inch here you decide how many inches you are using for your color for mine i'll be using four and a half inches Okay, so this is by four and a half inches. Okay, 
I hope you see it four and a half inches. Now at the lower part, which is the color stand, I mean this down part, you remove half an inch. At the upper part also, you remove half an inch. Okay. And then at this side, you remove half an inch also. I hope you understand. Okay. So my color stand is one inch longer than the color. Okay. So I'll move in by one inch here. And also one inch this way. Okay, one inch here, one inch here. Okay, so now I will connect. I hope you understood what I did. I really hope you understood it. Or maybe I should just repeat. Okay, so this is the length of my collar with my collar stand. I said I'm using four and a half inches, which is here. I took away half an inch here. At this collar stand, I took away half an inch also. Okay. And towards this end, I took away half an inch. Meanwhile, this fabric is on fold and is 20, 10 inches. The circumference of my neck is 19 inches. So the extra is the seam allowance. Okay, now from here, I'll measure about two inches. I'm doing it in a way that everybody will understand. This is about two inches. So I'll connect this half an inch to the two inches and then to the one inch. I hope you get that. I'll need to remove it first so that you understand better. This is half an inch. This is also half an inch, okay? Okay, I hope this is clear enough. So the next thing will be one inch inner, which is here, and then one inch up, okay? So you have something like this. Okay, and then you put your slight curve. Okay, I'll also cut this one. I'm doing it so that everybody will understand. So now this is my color stand. I hope you see it. This is the color stand. Okay. So I'll need to extend this one inch. Okay. And then remove also half an inch. So we have something like this. Okay. So I will now remove here. And then we now have our color and our color stand. Meanwhile, I cut two of it, so I won't be needing to cut any lining for it. I hope you see it. Okay. So, I'll just go to the machine. So, from here, this way, this way, and stop here. Okay. So, now having sewn it, We'll now turn it carefully. Okay. I hope you see it. The next thing will be to now attach it to our dress. Now, the center has a notch. I mean the midpoint of the color has a notch. Also, for the dress, 
the center also has a notch. In attaching, you make sure that the notch corresponds, the notch on the collar corresponds with the notch on the dress. Okay. So you place it like this and then sew it round. When you are done, you now use the other side of the collar to fold it and cover this roughness. I hope it's well understood. All right, so I've done the first attachment. I will then use the other side of the collar to now cover this roughness. I hope you get that. I will continue this way and cover the roughness and that will be all. Okay, so here is our collar cut together with the collar stand. Okay, for this upper part, all I'll need to do now is to fix my button and my button hole. I hope you see it. I hope you can see it. Okay. And then lastly, I will put my pocket and then we are very good okay, to everyone, go. everyone, so check me out. You see how fabulous it's looking. Actually, I've not put in button here. I've not put in any button here. I'll just take my time. I used uh, an office pin to just hold it firm just for everyone to see how fitted it is also check the color with the color stand okay check out the back okay thank you thank you thank you for watching to the end i appreciate all of you if you are yet to subscribe please feel free to do so and also tap on the notification bell please subscribe and notify yourself subscribe and tap on the bell so that whenever i upload you get notifications please i also urge you to watch my videos i am so very sure that you will not regret watching any of my videos okay thank you so much now if you don't want to do yours with this kind of belt you can still use your fabric to make your own belt I love all of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all the motivations I get from you. I really appreciate all of you. Till we meet in my next tutorial, please take care of yourself and show kindness to people around you. That is the true source of happiness and joy. Take care of yourself and bye.